words to know. Make up a new sentence that uses a blue word. Cold. This ocean water is very cold. Where? Sharks live where the ocean is deep. Blue. Today the ocean water looks blue. Live. Whales live in all the oceans of the world. Far. Squid swim far below the ocean's surface. There. Their home is by the ocean. Little. Many little fish live in the ocean. Water. Some people take photos in the water. Read and comprehend. Author's purpose. Authors may write to make you laugh or to give information. The reason an author writes is called the author's purpose. In informational texts, the author's purpose is to give information about a topic. As you read, think about what the author wants you to learn. List details that explain the author's purpose. Analyze, evaluate. Tell what you think and how you feel about the selection. Tell why. Preview the topic. Marine habitats. Oceans are very big. They are filled with many kinds of plants and animals. Some animals live on the bottom of the ocean. Other animals, like whales, swim far in the water. They come to the top to breathe. Some fish live deep down under the water where it is cold and dark. Some of them can even light up. You will read more about life in the ocean in A Home in the Ocean. Author's Purpose Find details the author used to explain her purpose. Informational text Gives facts about a topic. Look for information and facts in the words. Photos that show the real world. Labels for photos. Meet the author. Rosane Lonzak Williams. When Rosane Lonzak Williams first became a teacher, she lived far from the ocean. She and her students learned a lot about sea life. Though from their research and by making beautiful underwater murals. Now, Miss Williams lives only seven miles from the ocean. To write this story, she hunted for fun, fishy facts. She visited a big aquarium, the library, a bookstore, a friend's classroom library, and the ocean. At Home in the Ocean by Rosane Lanzac Williams Essential Question What kinds of plants and animals would you find in the ocean? The ocean is big. It is big and blue as far as you can see. It is home to many plants and animals. The biggest animals in the ocean are blue whales. They eat little animals called krill. Blue whale. Krill. Many animals live in cold water. Penguins. Penguins swim fast. They flap their wings to zip, zip, zip in the water. Manatees live where the water is warm. They do not swim fast. Manatees. Manatees eat lots and lots of plants. Then they rest. This turtle swims far. It digs in the sand and lays its eggs. Then it swims back to its ocean home.
turtle. Eggs. Kelp. Kelp is the biggest plant in the ocean. It can grow fast. Sea otter. Kelp can grow two feet in a day. Sea otters can get lots of food here. Lots of plants and animals, big and little, live in the ocean. The ocean is their home. Comprehension. How to analyze the text. Use these pages to learn about author's purpose and details. Then read A Home in Ocean again. Author's purpose. Authors write for many different reasons. Why do you think the author wrote A Home in the Ocean? What topic does she want you to learn about? You can find important details in the selection that help explain the author's topic. Use a chart to list the details and the author's purpose. Details. Details are facts and other bits of information. They tell more about a topic. A detail you learn in a home in the ocean is that manatees eat lots of plants. What other details from this selection teach you about life in the ocean? You can find important details in the words and pictures. Your turn. Return to the essential question. Turn and talk. What kinds of plants and animals would you find in the ocean? Talk with a small group about what you learn. Use details from a home in the ocean to answer. Listen, add your ideas to what others say. Classroom conversation. Talk about this question with your class. 1. Describe an animal or plant you learn about. Use details to tell more. 2. How are all the animals the same? 3. Which animal or plant would you like to learn more about? Why? Write about reading. Response. Write two facts that you learn from at home in the ocean. Find text evidence in the words and photos to get ideas. Use your own words when you write your facts. Writing tip. Add details that give you more information about your topic. Informational text. Informational text give you facts about a topic. This is from a science textbook. A diagram is a drawing that can show how something works or the parts that make up something. What does the diagram on page 35 show? Water. What is one thing that all living things, whether they are big or little, have in common? They need water to live. Water comes in different forms. The water you drink is a liquid. A liquid flows and takes the shape of the container it is in. Water, ice, snow. Water can freeze into ice or snow. Frozen water is a solid. A solid has its own shape. What is ice? Ice is water that has frozen. It is hard and cold. Where does the snow come from? Snow is tiny pieces of frozen water that fall from the clouds. Ice and snow are found in many places around the world. The North Pole is one of these places. There is cold blue water all around it. People cannot live that far north for very long, but some animals make their homes near the North Pole. Compare texts. Text to text. Compare animals. Use text evidence to compare the polar bear with an animal from a home in the ocean. How are they alike and different? Text to self. Describe it. 
Find a photo of your favorite animal from either selection. How does it look? What does it do? Use the photo to help describe it. Text world. Use a globe. Use a globe to find two different oceans. Draw and label animals that you think might live in each ocean. Grammar. Proper nouns. A noun that names a special person, animal, place or thing is called a proper noun. Proper nouns begin with the capital letters. Grandstand, seaside park, flip, seal show, Sean Jones. When a title is used before a name, it begins with a capital letter too. A title usually ends with a period. Mr. Diaz, Mrs. Sims, Miss Reed. Try this. Write each sentence on another sheet of paper. Find the proper nouns. Use capital letters and periods where they belong. 1. My family went to Florida. 2. We drove on Beach Street. 3. We met Mrs. Bell. 4. Her dog is named Skippy. 5. I went on the Super Sun Slide. 6. We all ate at Snack Shack. Grammar in Writing When you proofread your writing, be sure you have used capital letters to write proper nouns. Informative Writing Ideas Sometimes you will write sentences that give readers facts. One kind of fact that describes how something happens. Joy wrote about sea lions. Then she added loudly to describe how sea lions bark. Revised draft. A sea lion can bark loudly. Writing traits checklist. Ideas. Do my sentences have words that tell how? Does my writing tell facts? Did I use capital letters correctly? Look for words that tell how in Joy's final copy. Look for facts, then revise your writing. Use the checklist. Final copy. Sea lions. Sea lions do amazing things. A sea lion can bark loudly. It uses its flippers to move quickly on land or in water.